So our next award is Grassroots Project of the Year. Now presenting this award is going to be none other than Graham Phillips, the Chairman of Hertfordshire FA. Thank you very much, Graham, for presenting this award. It's an honour to have you here as well. Um, so for <coughs> this award, we are looking for those who are committed to making a positive impact on their communities <coughs> through football. Um, <coughs> our winners are actually a club that was founded following a personal tragedy. Now, with the loss of a child being the inspiration to start something that was dedicated to helping others. The club exists to raise funds for a charity supporting families going through miscarriage, stillbirth, and child loss as well, as well as providing a place where those who have been affected by these issues can come together to help cope with their grief. <laughs> it's an amazing story that shows how football can actually be part of something much, much bigger than just playing the game itself. And the love of the game can bring people together in the worst of times and actually inspire them to work together to help others. So we're pleased today to welcome Hartham United as our Grassroots Project of the Year. Hartham! Alexa. Congratulations. Um, it's really incredible as well how you've actually done this, you know, worked your way through your own grief to help out others. Um, is it something that's kind of been always really important to you to do that? To be funny, since, since it all happened, we couldn't work out a way to remember Alvin. So what we did was we started the club. I think I mentioned it to a few of the lads that are on the two tables. And... The response we got straight away from sending two text messages to get in 30 plus players come together and want help and then it grew and it escalated and during the season we had two completely random people that i would never met that you've never met who opened up about their loss and they wanted to get involved and since that point it just grew and it grew and we have a lot of connections with i don't know if people have heard of them but sounds united who to be fair got in touch with us when they first started um, when they were trying to grow, they've taken it above and beyond, but we took it in, we, we take it in two different directions. So we've organised a charity game against them in July, hopefully to raise as much money for, for Louis and Sands as we can, and then just continue to keep Alfie's name alive and just remember all the little angels and anyone that's lost a little one. We just want to remember them. That's absolutely incredible. And you mentioned actually uh, sort of the money raised. Do you have sort of an amount that you've raised so far? Do you have an idea? Um, yeah, so we do player sponsorships, so a lot of clubs do it. We've changed it a little bit where we've said can a, to get a company or anyone to sponsor a player for playing for us. So we raised £2,533 in total last year, just on player sponsors. I mean, that is absolutely incredible, and you're obviously both are very inspirational. Just though, before uh, you go, there might be a lot of people thinking, how do we sort of find out more? Have you got anything, social media or website or anything like that? Um, yeah, so if you go Facebook, Instagram, anything, it's at Hartham United Football Club. Um, I've got a guy on the table called Adam Long, who's done a lot for us. He works for Watford <laughs> as well, and he's done a lot to help us promote it. What we've actually taken into next season is something majorly different which is to be fair it's the first time we're probably announcing it but we've got a ladies team next season and my wife we lost Alfie she'll be playing in that team and it's something we're looking to grow and continue to grow going forward that sounds absolutely amazing and I can see uh, exactly where he is because he's filming every word you're saying <laughs> no pressure at all uh, listen one more time massive congratulations thank you thank you <laughs> 